week, Tom Whitwell of Music Thing announced the newest firmware to the radio music sample module, the chord organ. Of course, a chord is just a group of musical notes played at the same time, usually with some harmonic relationship. The new mode generates chords with up to eight tones, using wave shapes that sound eerily similar to organs. Chord organ replaces the sample functionality of the radio music, converting the sample select knob to select chord shape, and the start knob to control root note or transposition. The reset button chooses between four different wave shapes, sine, square, sawtooth, and a dirty pulse width wave an octave below the tunings of the other waves all of which resemble different organs to a degree. The reset CV input is reconfigured as an output for triggers, sent every time the chord shape changes. The root note knob and CV input do not follow a one volt per octave standard. However, don't let this throw you off. The module quantizes to the chromatic scale internally, so using a sequencer to dial in root pitch is simply a matter of using your ear. One of the coolest aspects of this new firmware is that you can easily edit the chord shapes in the module. Installing the firmware also creates a text file on the microSD card, which can be edited to create new chord shapes. Spelling out chords is simple, using intervals of semitones to set the other chord tones. Zero refers to the root note. The number one represents one semitone above the root. Two, a whole tone. Twelve is an octave. We can use negative numbers as well to get chord tones below the root. My friend, James Bernard of Spectrosonics, posted some fun chord sets in a Facebook discussion over the weekend which Tom Whitwell included in his write-up about the chord organ. Find those at the link below. A fun and unique take on the now classic radio music, Music Thing has created a new panel and kit for the firmware. Both firmwares are indispensable, so you might find yourself doing side-by-side -side DIY builds someday soon. How are you generating complex chord progressions in your system? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.